My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Ignored? <laughs> we barely made it two steps into the room. Thank you. any effect. Oh, Mr. have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on. You're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. And later even my lover. Old. Few would dare reduce a goddess to their muse. I am, after all, the villain of the tale. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Um, we can go over it later. Straight to the sordid, please. Suffice it to say, I obtained an obscure and ancient book that had locked away inside a much coveted prize. It was a fragment of primal weave locked out of time, locked away from Mistra herself. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound, then suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Gods, why show me this? I'm sorry, but I had to. After all, this is only the beginning. This netherese blight, this 
orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Is there nothing we can do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I would hear what the others say first. Gale's one of us, and we should stand by his side. I'm in two minds. And frankly, don't care a great deal. Either decision is fine by me. We've come this far together. And we'll continue on together. This is how it will be. That is... a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. All right, back Oi, to the mission so at much hand. fun. Oi, ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolute's work. State your business, now. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. This again? Look, you don't need to know about my business. Move. All right, all right. Normally we stick you foreign types in the spider pit. But the Absolute says we're all making nice now. So in you go, I suppose. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun. Before we just start attacking, we're gonna scout out the place a little bit first. That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. You're no normal trader, are you? You're part of the Black Network. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? You Zentarim tend to trade in misery. That why you're at a goblin camp? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet. And eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mate. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. I knew the Zent were heartless, but the Goblin slave trade? Really? Oh, dry your eyes, ill mater. It's me or a Goblin cookpot. I know which I'd choose. Now, much obliged for the chat, but I'm here to trade. <laughs> you haven't seen the last of us.
poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Let's use detect thoughts this time. No, no! Why won't he speak? The drow's gonna kill me if I can't make him talk. I'll take over. Unless you want the drow to learn of your failures. We do all the work, and you get to finish him? Bah! Take him! Won't do you any good. He just... screams. I <sighs> should have sent him to Moonrise with the rest, for all the good he's been. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, beating it good. What? Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Let's just pick the lock right away. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the Grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Yeah, we don't want to hold him up. We'll just let him go. Don't know where he's going, but I hope he gets back safely. I've never actually taken that path, so I don't know what's back there. I should probably check that out at some point. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathan, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? You mean the one they're torturing? Please. The things they do to that man. So crude and primitive. I was invited to teach them. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas... Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? What's a follower of the Maiden of Pain doing here? Ah! You are familiar with the Scourge Mistress. Good. I am simply spreading her message, friend. I worship her through pain, usually my own. But I have a skilled hand when it comes to its infliction. Care to expand your horizons? It will be worth it. You have my word. I wouldn't let his skilled hand anywhere near me. I've no interest in the teachings of such an evil goddess. Pain is pain, dear one. It is above good and evil. But very well. You are clearly too close-minded for the ways of Loviata. Now... If you'll excuse me, I should return to my own worship. Come on! Oh, yeah. 
forgot about Volo. I forgot about Volo the last time too. Sorry. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. So I see. Do you have plans for this pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? I was admiring him. I'd like one of my own. Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. You know, I just realized that he's actually probably safer in the cage while we do what we plan to do with the leaders. So let's go do that. Time for the fun stuff. Smells like burnt flesh in here. I switched to Will because I want to try something here. At least give me a sword. We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. Not dead. Hey, you, you. Get down there. Away. You're being arrested for assault. Judging by the look on this guard's face, you're getting off lightly. I like the idea of Will seeing someone about to get pushed into this pit, and so he just yells an insult at the goblins to get their attention. But we'll try to draw them over here so we don't alert anyone in the next room. And it looks like the coast is clear. Thanks. I thought I was done for. Good deal. We did it. Scrying eye. The eye's glassy black surface reflects your gaze. As you gaze deeper, you feel a focus, an intent. We'll reach out to the presence. You feel a brief lurching connection, a sensation of falling into your own image endlessly. Confusion, alarm. Then the presence withdraws leaving a dull black mirror once more. It's Gortash who's on the other side of the scrying eyes, right? And the I think so. Save the former. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. Ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough, I swear. Silence now, creature, or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? I'm on a hunt of my own. I'm looking for a druid named Halson. Interesting. What do you know of this druid? I've heard rumors that he's a very powerful healer. There is no power except for the absolute. If you are sick, speak to the goblin's priestess. She too is a true soul. I have not seen this druid, but he harbors worshippers of a false god in a hidden grove nearby. I intend to find it and destroy it. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, 
She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. If she finds the grove, everyone there will die. You need to throw her off the trail. My patience wears thin, true soul. The hunt must begin. Your hunt would desecrate an ancient place of calm. I will not let it happen. You would dare! Guards, to me! We got a little paladin be paladin action here. Let's try Wrathful Smite. See if we can frighten her. Confucio. It's, it makes you feel a little evil, but there is something pretty satisfying about watching Minthara cower. And I've really been liking the Cleric Unleashed extras for Shadowheart. I kind of just always want to go with Divine Smite since it's my favorite. Wrap this up and then head to the work pens. See, it squealed. <laughs> it's it again. Keep your hands steady, three. <clears throat> again, again. Make it squeal again. He's helpless. Let him go. It's staying right here. The beasts came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wolves. But first, three more stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! Hit his head! I want to hear more noises! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Putting an end to this. Now. Well, it's gonna avoid having to knock out the children and instead is gonna take out everyone else on the other side of the room. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I've been to the Emerald Grove. It's in danger. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? <sighs> Oak Father preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayers spawn. But... Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? 
I escaped from an illithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted. Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. You learned all this from your studies? Indeed. After we dealt with the drow that ambushed us, Nettie and I were able to inspect the corpse and the creature that slithered out of it. I had no idea anyone beyond their ranks was infected. You have my sincere sympathies. What should I do? I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. You seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to Moonrise? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. About that. Kaga was swayed by Shadow Druids. She nearly sealed the grove. Kaga. I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. But there are other matters to attend to before that. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drowmin Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. I'll deal with this. You get to safety. There is no safety. Not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. All right. Wait here until it's done. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. You got it. the drow, serve the absolute, and you may be chosen. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. A priestess? One of the leaders, no doubt about it. Let's make her squeal. What's that? Tell your friend to keep quiet, or he'll lose his good eye. Glory will nod to Will and prepare to attack. You think you can hurt me? This'll be good. Let's rip him apart! Um, it's actually quite easy. <laughs> I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. By Balderan's bones. Nothing. 
must be reading it wrong. Suga now Sukuk. This is the big boss. Strike him down. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. If it isn't a true soul devil. <laughs> he doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. No, but I'll happily leave it a dead hobgoblin for company. Here I take! Mission accomplished. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger, thanks to them. All the leaders are dead. The grove is safe. You did it! You actually did it! The leader's dead! <laughs> Praise Sylvanus! No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice. But those three were too dangerous to leave alive. I'll make my way to the Grove. Join me there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. I never understood why he turns into a rat there. I already killed all the goblins. He can just walk right out the door. 